Hey, how's it going, Postal Fam? Thought I'd make a video about something I think is important about being on the route, and that is your postal bug out bag. Let's see what's in here. There's certain things that's gonna be going on out there that the post offices are gonna provide, and you're gonna have to do it yourself, and you have gotta think. For every region, for every area you live in, every environment, it's gonna be different, but this is what I have, and I would hope this would help. One, hand sanitizer. It's flu season's coming up. We might get a big tick in the big C. You might want to have one of these handy. Two, the dog spray. Even the dog horns, if you can get them. You get the, you, uh, I'm sure you've all seen how much these things kind of fail. Might be good to have an extra one. Let's see what else we got in here. Masks. Put some masks in there. You never know. If you get sick, put a mask on so you don't infect everybody else at the station. Take them off when you're outside. But when you're at your case, put it on so that doesn't happen. Another one that the post office does provide, at least at my station, hand warmers. These things help. Put them on your chest, put them in your shoes, put them in your gloves, put them in your pocket to keep you warm. Especially like my boy Nick and them that, that are up there and you know where they are. And they gotta deal with the cold. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, chargers. Get a charger for your phone, for the earbuds you're not supposed to be wearing out there. Plus, also, I don't have one in here because mine died. Get yourself a battery pack. Those people that drive the metrics, that drive the ProMasters, you know, we got the new EVs coming out. Those are going to have it. LLVs and whatnot, you don't have that. Get these and a power bank so you can keep the fucking music flowing. Let's see what else we got in here. Gloves. I've got so many of these in here. And personally, I don't like gloves that cover your fingers. See how these do that? These are my emergency ones. But what I do like is I've got these. These are the ones that I wear. I feel like Rocky. Let's see if I can get these bad boys on. Yeah, these are the ones that I wear. I'd rather have these because I like to finger the mail. I, I can't let it slip around and all that. I'd rather touch the mail, but you know what? When you get that covered up, one of the only things that's gonna be cold Sorry, I got a cat coming. Oh, here, here she comes. There she is. <laughs> Mama, get out of the way. You don't want cold hands. Fingertips, ah, that's one thing. Let's see if I got anything else in here. I got a whole bunch of stuff. All right, what do we got in this pocket? What do we got in here? Okay, back to the winter thing. Beanies. I don't know how your stations are us we can't really wear stuff with logos or you know that aren't postal approved but still keep an emergency one what else we got okay i got a plain one yeah this one i can wear i can wear this one keeps you warm you want to be as warm as possible out there especially for those of y'all that have to deal with the tundras you don't want to you don't want to go through that Yep. See, these are actually postal approved gloves. I bought these off the postal store. I haven't used these yet. I'm looking forward to using these this season. And one of the main reasons, yeah, let me find the right hand. Hold on, hold on. But yeah, these ones, if you look close enough, yeah, see they have the rubber grips on them. See that? That's kind of cool. It's gonna keep everything going. I I'm looking forward to using these this season. Yeah, let me get them both on. Yeah, see, that's your boy Yaya, looking like Rocky. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Um, okay, rain. When you're dealing with the rain, if you can get one, the rain parka. You need this in here if it rains. You're gonna sweat your ass off in these things, but you know what? This is gonna keep you dry. I'd rather sweat for a bit than cool off then sit there and be wet all day long. Yeah, I got, I, and yeah, wrap it up, wrap it up tight, because you gotta fit a bunch of stuff in these bags. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, no, you know what? Your glasses, sunglasses, regular glasses, anything. You're gonna want some of these, so you can wipe them off. You know how the sweat drips down? You know how like you might be coughing and whatnot and get stuff in there? Let's see what else we got in here. Um, ah, here's a real big one. Okay, there's one thing I do not like when it rains. When it rains and these amazing postal shoes have cracks in them and they got holes in them and whatnot, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get out of the way. Your feet are gonna get wet. 
that's one of the worst things personally of all the years i've been doing this i do not like it when my feet are wet especially starting the route like loading up the truck and your feet are just getting wet and you're dealing with swamp foot all day long bring an extra pair of socks at least one i want to say i probably got about three pairs in here just because I'm, 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 yeah, I'm ready to just, let, let's keep this going, you know, let, let's, <laughs> let's not deal with that. All right, another one, again, masks. Put them in a plastic bag so they don't get dusty. Oh, another one, and you never know, guys, you know how these postal clothes are. They're, they're superb quality, but every once in a while, you might get a split in the pants. Bring an extra uniform, an extra pair of pants, I don't have them rubber banded, but wrap them up. Wrap them up, keep them tight. Actually, look up videos called Ranger Roll. That's a good way to keep the stuff really, really tight and you can pack stuff in there. And a scarf. You have no idea how much this helps. Covering up your neck when it's cold does a huge difference. You can cover everything up, but you got your neck covered up, it really helps. So keep a scarf. And you can see it's neutral, no big deal. See what else I got in here. Yep, again, extra socks. Um, let's see, that's it for that pocket. All right, let's go in here. Yep, extra uniform. I got an extra shirt in here just in case. And on, like I said, honestly, if you get rained on and you get drenched, at least you can stop at a gas station. If you have your house on your route, at least you can go and boom, you can drop back into that uniform and start high and dry. Uh, and this one, this one gets issued, the headlamp. Luckily, I don't have to deal with this, but a lot of you keep the headlamp on you. And one thing I've learned from carriers that do stay out at night, make sure the battery's charged. Make sure you got good batteries. This one wasn't, and I changed out the batteries. Luckily, I don't have to deal with that, but a lot of you do. My man Nick has to deal with that. Yep, see, another pair of socks. You have no idea <laughs> how much a good pair of socks helps. Let's see what else I got in here. And again, this is just me, fellas. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I found this at the Union Hall. Nobody wanted this. I was like, shit, I'll take this. Cool. I'm just kidding. This one's got the hole. <laughs> this one's got the hole in it. So if I want to go rob somebody, I don't know, where, where the hell did the hole go? Oh, there it is, all right. But yeah. It's got the hole, so if you want to cover your whole face, do that. Again, oh, that's another thing. Go to your union hall to get the donation stuff. There's a lot of stuff there. Let's see if I got anything else in here. See, and this is just me. This is just stuff that I'm, that I'm providing. And there's one thing I don't have in here. Well, there's a few things I don't have in here that you got to think about. One is a first aid kit. I would totally put a first aid kit, even if it's, if it's one of the small ones. You're going to want band-aids. You're going to get cut. You want ointment. You want antibacterial cream. If you have allergies, put some allergy meds in there. There's so much. I mean, you know, this is just what I put. You think about what you want to put in here. This pocket right here, you know what? Put an extra bottle of water. Even a bottle of, you know, something flavorful. I don't know about you, but I don't like being out there just drinking water. I know we're not supposed to drink sodas every once in a while. I, I do like drinking sodas, but... No, maybe get one of those flavor packets that has electrolytes. Put some of those in your bag so you can have some flavor out there and you're not just sipping water. Well, that's what I got, guys. I, you know, y'all add it to your own. I'm just showing you this is what I got. Hope y'all are doing okay. Y'all hang in there. Times are rough right now. Things are really weird with... Yeah, y'all know. I don't have to say. And I hope y'all... I hope... Yeah. Hang in there. Election season's almost over. And guess what? Peak season's coming. <laughs> Always a pleasure, y'all.